Welcome back! Welcome back to the Dungeons and Drinks sleepover session. Our dicks are out, our buttholes are wide, <laughs> and I haven't showered in a week. Welcome! Sorry. <laughs> No, nah, it's okay. I was just gonna say, is is is, 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 is does it smell like shit because our assholes are wide open, or is it because I haven't showered? Who knows? <laughs> That's half the fun. Be like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, write down in the comments below if you can smell it. Welcome to Dark Hollow. Rum almost just came out of my fucking nose. That would have been awful. Have you ever done a reverse shot of rum out your nostrils? It no, I uh, just it burns. Take a and put it up my ass. That's that's how you party. Hey, look! It's the um, it's the dad in Shrek. Oh, it's it's the princess and the frog, but it's the frog and That's not the different. princess. They used to just like hop around regardless, but when you get close to them, they're like, "Hey, let's be." Oh, friends. he's hopping a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it was just a coincidence. Yeah, maybe it, it was like just like a. At me. Yeah, I did like a little idol. Can you set those books on? Damn. <laughs> Why are these guys jumping and not walking? They're, they're not kangaroos. They they're the little, little fat men. You're trying to tell me if you didn't have a belly that wiggled like Joey that you wouldn't just like hop around and jiggle? I mean, that's what I do. And like if, and you, you wield a club made out of a turkey leg that you took a bite out of, because like... I like their beanies. Yeah, man, that turkey leg. Good. They get slouch beanies on. Right? They're so hip. <laughs> oh my god, they are so in with the times. Todd Howard, you madman, you did it again. Why do we keep mentioning Todd Howard so much? Because <laughs> we're, we're playing Skyrim from the perspective I just fucking of the dragons. I just fucking love Skyrim. <laughs> do you really? <laughs> I thought it was really good. I remember when it first came out, and I was just like, yo, what? I've always hated Skyrim. I mean, I played like a solid 500 hours in it, but I still hate it. I don't know. Me and like two of my other friends had like a had like a get together at my friend's house. We all brought our Xboxes over and we just played Skyrim and didn't go to school for like three days. The only thing I liked about Skyrim was the stories. When you like, it was always funny to like get together people and be like, "Hey, you play Skyrim?" They'd be like, "Yeah," and then you start exchanging stories of like the weird shit that's happened to you. I just um, wish there were more uh, uh, Skyrim jobs. You know, like, you know, you know how in Skyrim you can go, like, you know, chop some logs or, like, go go to the mill and chop oh, some bigger logs? Oh, I jobs. Oh, no. That, oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot about this guy. That's what I said, Skyrim jobs. I cooked his ass. Um, or, like, you go on, you go to the back of the, you go on, you ride onto a dragon, and then you fly up in the air, and then you lick his butthole. I just hated how in, like... Morrowind, there was a lot of different weapon types. And then Oblivion, they got rid of half the weapons. And then in Skyrim, they got rid of half of those weapons. And usually, like, I can appreciate that in a game when they go for quality over quantity, but they didn't increase the quality. They just kept decreasing the quality, and every weapon still feels the fucking same. Yeah, but you can take it, you can, you can blacksmith your weapons. And the blacksmithing was broken as shit. It didn't make any sense. Yeah, but you could break it yourself. With the smithing. There was no point. The smithing had no purpose because literally, like, Spiral. you need to craft Water about 600 Use weapons to reach level 100. And, and like, around. you only need to craft, craft like a thousand hide bracers. Or like 600 daggers or something like that. Like, it's just, it's like pointless when the system's like that. Like, that's so unimmersive. They shouldn't have had blacksmithing as a thing at all. I mean, the hide was easier to do because you, you didn't have to carry around the iron ingots. There's just no way to, like, implement smithing well in a game and have it still be immersive. I like the, the way that um, The Witcher 3 does it, where they, um... They don't give you money for anything or experience. <laughs> well, no, I, not, not gameplay-wise exactly, but I mean, <laughs> I mean, I like the way that in The Witcher 3, instead of crafting the weapons yourself, you find blueprints around the world, and then you find the materials, and then you take them to a blacksmith, and he makes it for you. Baby, you can light my fire. I just think that seems to make more fucking sense, I guess. You know, sometimes you'd have to go and buy the materials. Let me tell you something about buying materials in Witcher 3. You ain't got no money for that shit. <laughs> that was one of the biggest gripes that turned me off to Witcher 3. 
You know, I like to I like to grind I like grindy games, you know, I like to grind for leveling and money and resources, but you could kill fucking a pack of wolves and then kill another pack of wolves. I don't like to grind for money. If I wanted to grind for money- And you don't get shit! You get no experience, you get no money, you get like a dog pelt, and you're like, okay, cool, can I sell this? And then they give you like a bronze piece, and it's just like, okay, cool, thanks. If I wanted to grind for money, I'd be a stripper. Damn. <laughs> we getting real out here on Dungeons and Drips. <laughs> We go, we go from talking talking Skyrim to to giving giving rim jobs for money to. Am I? Re do you really want me to put a Skyrim counter on this? Like, what? How is this counter gonna work? Every time I say Skyrim, we have to add to the counter, or is it every time we like organically mention something about Skyrim? Uh, I feel like just any time the topic of Skyrim gets brought up from a from a miscellaneous other topic. So like. If we're talking about like, you know, like butterfly, butterflies, birds and the bees, and then it goes to Todd Howard, wham bam, one on the Skyrim. Alright, alright. <laughs> I'll try to remember that. Not just not just like every not just like every time we say, oh Skyrim, because like Skyrim, 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 Skyrim. Exactly, that would that would have been five right there. Look how romantic that guy is. Look at that dragon. I'd I'd let him foos road do me. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. Besides that. You um, just got fucking smashed up by that little turkey leg. When I was younger, and by younger I mean like 21, like back when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Oh, huh, little baby ginkgo. Fucking, um, I used to go, you know Omegle? Or I Omegle. remember Omegle. I used to go on there, and I had this dragon mask and hat that I would wear. I remember I would go on Omegle and show strangers my dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's what most people use it for. I'd go on there though, with this dragon mask on. And I'd be like, do you like dragons? And most people would skip me, but every once in a while, somebody would be like, yeah! And I'd be like, good! And then I'd jump up and show my balls and be like, because I'm going to be dragging my balls all over your face! <laughs> God damn it. I didn't even choke on anything. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, that's the fastest we've finished a level so far, so we can actually do two levels in this episode. Oh shit! I think I know how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna do one of the uh, the AIDS levels. I have a feeling that what you classify as an AIDS level is my favorite level. Yeah. Wait, you sure about it's that? Not there. Wait, I don't remember jumping on the stones to activate this. Yeah. Since when is that how you activate it? Hop, oh skip, my and god, jump. these are my favorite! You don't like these? Of course they would be. I fucking love these levels! I'm so I mean, I don't, I don't mind them, but like, I'm worried about how it's gonna... Well, if you get pissed at it, pass it off, man. I'll do it. I fucking love the flights. Oh, no, 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 Mama didn't raise no quitter. They're like the point of the game to me. No, I'm just kidding. That's an exaggeration. But god, I love these. Okay, let's start with... Uh, you already fucked up. Fuck off. <laughs> you already fucked up. What are you doing? <laughs> What's it look like I'm doing? I'm playing the video game. Uh, I wonder why you hate these. Oh god. You're giving me diabetes right now, Slate. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that just uh be terrible? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! What? <laughs> You're killing me! There's like an order to do things in. I'm a semi-professional speedrunner. I guess it's true. You you do do things very efficiently a lot of the time. But it's like when you do half of something and then go do something else, then you end up running out of time trying to find like where you left off. But your memory's better than mine, so maybe it'll work out for you. I, I like do things in like a specific order on these things, which is why you'll see me fail three times and then get it right. Did you do that roll on purpose or did he do that? Ah, he did that. Ah, oh, fuck, I might actually have fucked this. <laughs> I'll give you some solid time. Not enough. Uh, yeah, you want to go again uh, through the train tracks in the opposite direction because chasing the trains takes far longer. No, I already did the trains. What I was gonna, I need to. Uh, 
I didn't get the chests. What did you call this? The AIDS level? Yep. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm there gonna start go. off with the chests this, the this time it. around. You'll know you're doing it in the right order when getting all the chests like segues perfectly into like the arches or something, because there is a definite direction to fly through the level. Ah, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. What the fuck? No. What the fuck? How did you do that? I hit the wrong button. I wanted to do like a little... Oh, wait, now you can't do a little loopy loop. That's stupid. What button did that? That was L1. I don't remember that being a thing. Did they add I that? I also don't remember it being a thing, and I'll tell you what, I don't like it. I mean, you could just not do it. <laughs> no, no, I thought I was going to do a little barrel roll. I wasn't expecting a no, fucking... Barrel roll. Nice. You got hit by a train and lived. You got hit by a train and the train. Died. How many how many gamers can say that? I've been hit by three cars. I got hit by a car once when I was eight. Really? Actually, I was nine. I was walking home from school in the uh, in the in the Jetto. And in fact, uh, I know you're in implement including Ghetto in that, but what is Jetto? Yeah, that's uh, that's how it's spelled. Oh. <laughs> I jet it. Do you? <laughs> um, so wait, how did you get hit by a car? You were just walking uh, home. Yeah, no, I was walking hit. home from school, and uh, I was on the crosswalk, and I had the right of way. But uh, according to this asshole, I didn't. I've been hit on a crosswalk twice. So I feel your pain. And you know, like, I'm a little, like, nine-year-old boy. This guy's uh, some fucking asshole in his fucking little red Corvette. And I'm like, oh, hey, thanks a lot, asshole. So what happened after that? I cussed him out. Ah, oh, you fucking slut! Wait, oh, I thought you had time. Fuck. I thought I had time. Um, the first time I got hit by a car, I was in middle school. I think I was in seventh grade. First of all, that's a funny sentence to begin with. The first time I got hit by a car. <laughs> um, I was riding my bike across the crosswalk. Were you riding with no handlebars? <laughs> I was riding with two sets of handlebars. No, um... Yeah, you can do this one. I think pretty much that loop-de-loop -loop you accidentally did was... Yeah, the loop-de-loop -loop and pull is what fucked me. Um, so I... I used to, when I went to school, I only lived a couple streets away from my school, so me and my neighbors, some other kids in my class, we would ride our bikes to school all together every morning. And uh, we got to the crosswalk at the same time, and this girl, Alicia, and this boy... Yeah, I don't remember who. That's um, okay, we can just name drop. Fucking, they rode ahead of me on the crosswalk, and I was third in line. I wasn't very far behind them or anything. I was pretty much right behind them. And when the first kid went onto the crosswalk with his bike, this guy in a minivan, he stopped and let him pass. And then he stayed stopped while Alicia on her bike passed. And then I was right behind her, and then he slammed on the gas. And he wasn't going exceptionally fast or anything. He maybe hit like 10 miles per hour. And he hit me and knocked me onto the ground. And luckily I had a helmet because I hit the back of my head on my ground and on the ground. And I didn't notice until later that the helmet was fucking cracked. Yikes. But um, the real killer for me was uh, my thigh got really fucked up. I couldn't walk well for a while because... Um... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> That's okay, that was fucking dumb. Dude, you get this, you get this. Yeah. yeah. Nice so, job. Uh, thanks. I only took three tries. Bam! <laughs> um, my thigh got pretty hard crushed between my bike and Oh, do I want to try though. this again? Uh, no, I don't. So, that left a huge welt. My thigh was, like, entirely purple all around for a while. And, uh, the worst part was, when I got knocked onto the ground, I'm laying on the ground and my legs are tangled up in my bike, kinda. The guy rolls down his window and he goes, oh my god, are you okay? And I said, I was, like, kind of in shock, so I was like, yeah. And he goes, okay, and he rolls up his window and he just fucking leaves me on the street. And then I got back on my bike and rode it to school. And then they sent me to the hospital. And I'll tell you about the next time, two times I got hit by a car, next time on Dungeons & Drinks. <laughs> Did we finish all the levels here? No, we still have the boss level. Well, I mean, besides that, yeah.